I remember having a conversation with my little sister about this story time. So rather than me, you know, leaving it for another day, I said I have to do it today. I feel like I'm still gonna do these types of videos because just because I'm in a relationship, happy and my life is amazing, it does not mean I can not still give you guys the tips or the story times that used to happen to me. <laughs> I was having a conversation with my little sister about, you know, um, relationships and how I personally feel like, you know, there's been this stigma with you must not date too many people, you must not blah blah blah. And my thing is, how will you know if you don't date? You have to date, you have to go around and date, you have to date this person, date that person. You know, as long as you're not offering your pints for everybody, as in of your pints for a day today, next tomorrow, or opening your pints for uh, a franc. <laughs> You can date how many people you like if you feel like it it's up to you and when i mean date you can go and eat free food if you like eat free food just because i'm eating your food does not mean i need to marry you do you know what i mean if someone offers to take you to this place or that place it's fine if somebody offers to buy you a drink it doesn't mean that oh because you bought me a drink now i have to go to your house and go and off my pan are you dumb i can date as many people as i like as long as i'm a not in a relationship and B, I am not having sexual intercourse with you. I can do whatever I like. As long as the party, the other person knows that you are just dating and they don't think, oh, yeah, you're, you're my boyfriend type of energy. You can't date this person, you can't date, you shouldn't date, you know, just date one person. But if you date one person, how will you know what you actually like at the end of the day? You have to date. I know how you're gonna meet someone, you have like you have to make an effort. Whether you go online dating, whether you go out more, you meet new people, you cannot find anyone on your bed. Okay? I've already said it. Lying on your bed, wishing and dreaming, <laughs> you're not gonna find anybody. Okay? When I was telling my sister this, yeah, it triggered something like an awareness of a story that happened to me. So I would like to share this story, time for everybody, so that you know it gives it. I mean, I was not the best girl. I was not a nice girl. Hmm? And I, I wasn't a nice girl because I had been stung a few times. And sometimes when I've been stung, you tend to have this sort of begrudging behavior, <laughs> this grudging behavior of this I don't care type of behavior. And I definitely was one of those girls that I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I have this I don't care behavior which is why I spent a lot of years on social media talking about my experiences because I genuinely did not care like I don't care how you feel about my story that's my story you know it was not the best way but bruh it's my story it's part of my life journey je ne sais quoi je ne sais pas <laughs> so, um, I remember meeting this this guy I'm not even sure where we met but I remember meeting this guy and um, we, he invited me to dinner. This is the thing, I personally don't suggest dating people that you are sort of like bending to like. What I mean by bending to like is like you, you don't really like them but because you're just maybe, if you're, if you're someone that hears all the stuff like me like oh you're too picky, you used to be too picky, you like to pick certain people but you know you're too you know people used to say to me i like really nice looking guys or i like a certain type of person so when you start getting older you start thinking maybe i am maybe it is me maybe i'm the one that's crazy maybe i'm the one that's picking a certain type of guy what you tend to do is to do the opposite of what you usually will do so this guy was not my type and i didn't like him i didn't like him i didn't fancy him he's not my type but because it's dating stuffs, <laughs> you just think, okay. He messaged me and said, oh, where would you like to, where would you like to go and eat and stuff and like, you can always tell um, what type of guy the person is by where they decide to take you to. It shows the level of respect that they have for you and it also shows the respect that they have for themselves. <laughs> always say, I don't know, I don't really, I don't know what I want to. To be honest, you already have the list of your favorite places. But you don't say anything because you just want to see, like, what is he going to pick? Is he going to be stingy? Are you going to be hungry? Are you going to be someone that's like, you know, picking a dumb place? What are you going to pick? <clears throat> he told me the address, told me to meet him there. So, as I'm sitting on the dates, yeah, this is one thing that I'm not a fan of, like, 
first of all, you are not my type. <laughs> first of all, I don't like you. Okay, so when you start making certain moves, <laughs> you know, it could be the come and sit next to me, baby, putting your hand on the leg, um, and going in for hugs every five minutes. You know, the, that's when it's disgusting to you. If you really like the guy, come and hug me, come and, come and hug me while I'm eating, come and you know flirt with me and that but when you don't like the person it's very difficult for you to see that so you just be doing ill like someone touching you or someone maybe putting their hands on your leg and stuff is like vomit to you, you want to vomit like you're you're going too far when you do like the person it's quite easy for you to be flirty with them back it was at that moment that i knew that this day it's not gonna bang <laughs> some people that you don't necessarily like but they have a really fun personality so sometimes you know even though you think it's bad um or you think it's going to be bad by the time the date is finished you think oh his personality was was nice i know i'm going to put you in the friend zone you get it but this one had no friend zone and it was no love zone either <laughs> so i knew you were going in the bin <laughs> he just kept trying to insinuate like you know Know that that this and I'm telling you, I think it's a London, like a Nigerian London thing. Um, like the guys that are like maybe around 35, like 30, yeah, around 30, 35, but they have this tendency to try and invite you back to their house. So around 8 p.m. Why are you you just keep on insinuating that oh well, you know, baby, what are we gonna do when we finish? Like, you know, I won't take you back to, I won't really come to my house, you know, I'll show you my house. You know, I live in Nice Bridge. You know, that's when they start dropping different postcode that I don't care of. I'm going home, okay? I'm going to my house. Every time he would do, <laughs> every time he would mention going out, it was making me more and more sick. Like, I'm thinking, do you think I'm going to run into your house? Are you, are you okay? So, so, bad do right, let me tell you what. Girl, when I tell you, I packed the menu, I packed my dinner and my breakfast on that menu. I packed everything that I said I wanted to take home because it was like a Thai restaurant. I took special fried rice. <laughs> I, took, I took everything that I wanted to take. I don't care. I took it. I knew I was going to go home of that package of food. But I had to know, I had to try and figure out a way of leaving that place. Yeah? So, okay, ah. How do I leave this place? <laughs> I don't want this person to drop me home. So that's how I sat down there. I was pondering, 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 pondering. I was not, I was not eating my dessert. So I was looking at me like this close to my face, like baby, come on. You wanna come to my house? I wanna take you to my house. You know, I wanna take you to my house. It's so beautiful. Blah blah blah. I'm looking at him, thinking, bro, if you don't move back, <laughs> because you're just spoiling my dessert. So I'm like, nah, man, this is long. This is just looking too dead. <laughs> but how do I get out of this situation? So you know what I did? I said, no, I know what's gonna happen. I said, let them bring my ticket away. <laughs> yeah? I said, let me bring my ticket away. So the moment you we are about to go, I don't tell me, I don't know. I don't know how I did this. So I don't know what he said he's gonna go and bring the car or whatever. So I was like, okay, cool, go and bring the car. So me, I now packed my food and I said, yeah, as you're going that way, me too, I'm going to the bathroom. Mm? So he's like, okay, cool. I'll, I'll go to the bathroom, then I'll come back here. I'll uh, blah, 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 blah. Don't, don't take too long. So he brought the car to the front, I guess. And then he went back to sit down <laughs> away from me. I just said, no, 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 no. I have to leave this place. How do I leave? 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 I just went into the cubicle in the toilet. I called my Uber hmm? and then I quickly vamoosed. When I tell you the Uber was too sweet because they came so quick, two minutes, film, film. I jumped in and I went. <laughs> so you know what kills me about that story here yeah, is the fact that um, that person never contact contacted me again. Even when I got home, he didn't call me to be like, oh, Grace, are you, are you okay? Or what happened? Because this Grace is too big. Do you get? Somebody left you and just left you like that. 
the disgrace is too big. Now, I don't personally feel like that was the right thing to do, but if somebody is pushing me to come to their house and I'm telling you that I'm not coming to your house and then you're trying to still push me to go to your house, am I really going to jump into the vehicle with you so that you can be driving me to your house and then I don't know what you're going to... Do you know what I mean? I don't like... That type of stress is too much. Like... Can you imagine sitting in a car thinking you're going home but somebody's driving you to their house? Like, let me just quickly go to my uh, cubicle, call Uber, Fastly, and <laughs> go, to my, go, to, go to my house. I was so happy because I had my food, had all my takeaway that I didn't get to eat. Just in my space, I couldn't eat the way I wanted to eat. I couldn't lick my finger the way I wanted to lick my finger. I remember telling Dela that and she was telling me that I should tell you guys that story, but my advice here yeah, when you want to date anybody is that at least like them a little bit because if you don't like them even a little bit it can end like my own story in terms of the way i used to date i i still i still believe in it 100 percent. i still feel like you can date people you have to date people in order for you to find out what you actually like without knowing without dating you will never know i mean sorry to that man <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it now, but thanks for the food. <laughs> thanks for the food uh, I enjoyed. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, don't let, you know, African tradition or people's opinions make you feel like you're not allowed to date. You can't just pick one person and be like, oh yeah, that's my husband. It doesn't work like that. So yes, anyway, that was my story time. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Got it.